Ninja Go Days are happening at Legoland in Florida in May. And well, in this video, I'm gonna go over all of the fun things that are included in this event to see if it will be something that would be fun for you and your kids. So let's get into it. I have to admit, this is the first time experiencing Ninja Go Days in Legoland in Florida, and I had a really fun time. I was surprised at how many fun shows and activities there were, and when you first walk in, you'll grab one of their event guides that you can pick up just after you walk through the gate. There are a few different activities that are spread throughout the park, and one of the first ones is collecting elemental powers as you journey through Ninja Go City and the rest of the park. While you're walking around and doing events, you'll collect these stickers for each elemental power that you strive to master. Once you've collected all of your stickers, you can come back and become a ninja at the end of the day during the festival ceremony of the elements. There is also this golden ninja scavenger hunt that's happening in Ninjago City where you can help Ninjago ninjas find missing weapons from their dojo. If you find all of the weapons and match them to the right ninja, you can return back for a chance to be put into a drawing for a prize at the end of the day. If you consider yourself a master builder yourself, you can also test your hand in creating a build to represent either good or evil. Which side will you choose? Well, it's kind of up to you in whichever way imagination takes you. The fun part is that one model per day will get selected to win a Lego prize pack. If you want to do a bit more building, there's also this serpentine super brick build in the Forest of Tranquility where you can unite with fellow serpentine members to help build a giant six foot tall cobra out of super bricks. We came by several times throughout the day to see the progress and they were able to get a really great base going by the end of the day while we were there. I believe they'll continue to build this Cobra throughout the entire month of the event. If you want to continue to test your ninja skills, there is also the Ninja Game Challenge where if you're lucky, you might even win a prize, but you do have to pay extra for this challenge. If you get hungry as you're running around completing the task, there are Ninja Go treats that are available throughout the Ninja Go days. One of which is the Ninja Star ice cream that you can pick up at Kingdom Cones. This is a fun soft serve swirl topped with ninja sprinkles and a ninja star. The other treat is this spicy Korean barbecue chicken sandwich that you can pick up at Kickin' Chicken. But my favorite was the Ninja Warrior chicken wings that you can get at Ninja Kitchen. These wings are marinated with ninja spices and tossed with teriyaki barbecue sauce, which was delicious. But make sure that you have plenty of wet wipes with you because they can get messy. There was also this panna cotta with berries that you can pick up at Legoland Coffee Company. But by the time that I made my way over there during the day, they were completely sold out and I did not get a chance to try one. So if you're really wanting to try one of these, make sure that you get there as early as possible. And if you did get a chance to grab one during your trip, let me know how you liked it in the comments below. If you want to meet famous ninjas while you're here, there are several options for you throughout the day. We were able to catch several character experiences all throughout the park, and they tend to happen every hour. So you can meet everyone from Master Wu, Pixel and Zane, Kai, and Naya. And while you're in Ninjago City, you'll have to make your way over to the Fun Town Theater to enjoy The Master of the Fourth Dimension, which is a fun 4D action movie where you can help Ninjago heroes to master the fourth dimension. If you are a young ninja looking to learn a few new moves, then you'll head over to the School of Spinjitsu where you can kick, chop, spin, and balance like a ninja. This is a 15 minute show that has a couple of really fun instructors that will show you some new moves and help you become a ninja. If you're looking for a show where you can watch Ninja Masters, then you'll have to head over to the Elemental Masters where you can observe elite ninjas as they demonstrate advanced abilities and mastering the elemental powers. The ninjas in this show are incredibly talented and you'll get to see some amazing kicking, spinning, and some phenomenal tumbling in this very high energy show. 
Just a short walk from the Elemental Masters show is the Earth Beats show, which is an energetic show that features ninja inspired music and drumming. And while you're here, you might as well jump in and experience the Ninja Go ride, which was a really fun interactive dark ride where you can blast fireballs, lightning, and everything else towards the sinister group of villains before teaming up to defeat a powerful foe. You can track your score against you and your friends as well as other guests and I have to admit I was pretty bad at this one but I definitely did not have the moves that my husband does. And if you are a Legoland annual pass holder don't forget to pick up your exclusive annual pass holder Ninja Godies pop badge available at the big shop. If you're spending the entire day at Legoland for Ninja Go days, you'll have to stay for the ceremony of elements at the end of the day. Remember when I told you at the beginning of the video that you would collect these elemental stickers as you make your way through the park? Well, this is where you'll get to join Master Wu and your favorite Ninja Go ninjas to test your skills and celebrate in a festive ceremony, which is a really fun way to end the day. If you're looking for even more fun things to enjoy with you and your family this year, you'll have to check out my video on Disney's Epcot Flower and Garden Festival that just popped up on the screen. It's a fun Disney festival filled with beautiful flowers and delicious food. Until next time everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.